So guys, I broke down and bought five of these new designer fragrance releases. Ones that have been released in 2023. And for the most part, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Let's talk about it. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your guy, the bow tie. Fragrance guy, that is. <laughs> this is the fashion and fragrance channel. So I talk to you guys about fragrances and fashion. So I talk about how you can smell good, but also I throw some style tips in there as well. So you're looking your best as well each and every day. So if you are into being the best version of yourself every day, looking and smelling good, you found the right channel. Consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a dime. Hit that little subscribe button right there in the corner and make sure you enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. That way when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, on today's video, man, I'm going to be talking about these new designer fragrances. I actually have five that I have actually uh, purchased. Uh, well, four of them I purchased. Uh, one of them was sent to me. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to talk about these five fragrances because honestly, um, at the end of the day, <laughs> you guys know how I have been feeling about these new designer fragrance releases. So I wanted to go ahead and purchase five of these or get five of them in my collection. So that way I can kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts on it. And like I said, for the most part, what I was thinking was confirmed. All right. A lot of these fragrances, they smell good, but if you have, especially uh, these first three I want to talk about, if you have like one of the previous releases from of the flankers, it's not really a big difference between some of the previous flanker releases and these. But anyway, we're going to talk about it. You'll see the five that I have. You know how we rock. I'm going to run the intro and we'll be right back. We'll talk about it. So if you want to see what I got to say about these five new designer fragrances, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the five fragrances that we're going to be talking about today is going to be the newest one from Paco Rabanne, uh, which is Invictus Victory Elixir. Uh, we're going to talk about YSLY, EDP Intense, which I've done a video on that, but that is one of the um, newer designer fragrances that I have purchased here as of late. We're going to talk about the new Bulgari Rain Essence. We're going to talk about CH Men Passion, and we're also going to throw in there, which one am I missing? Givenchy Gentleman Society. So those are the five new designer fragrance releases that I have in my collection. So the first one up here, Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory Elixir. I do love the bottle. It's reminiscent of the, uh, the uh, first flanker from this line, which is Invictus Victory, uh, with that darker hue up here but as you get go down to the bottom it has a blue um hue that starts to come into play at the bottom or base of the bottle so i do like the bottle it's really really um nice presentation all right so we have that one and uh this particular fragrance is not that different from invictus victory the original one there's a slight difference here this one is a little bit more i would say green uh, than the original one because it has orbitum in here and it's kind of kind of coming off a little bit kind of giving this green undertone but outside of that is that vanilla patchouli ambery base so it's really really sweet kind of powdery again not a huge departure from the original this one also does smell a lot like um the latest one of the latest releases from jean paul gaultier i think it was called lebeau uh lamel Le parfum i think it's lebeau Le parfum i'm sorry See these names, man. You start to cross them up. So many flankers. Le Beau Le Parfum. This fragrance smells very similar to that fragrance. So, does this smell good? Yes. If you have the uh, first one, the Invictus Victory, or if you have Le Beau Le Parfum, then this one is one that I would say you don't really need to add to the collection. Now, if you don't have either of those fragrances, yeah, then this smells good. Again, none of the fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, smelling good is not the problem. So I want to be clear about that. These fragrances smell good, but the redundancy thing 
is the issue. Now, the other fragrance here that we have, Givenchy Gentleman Society. Right, so this is a flanker from the Givenchy, Givenchy Gentleman line. Uh, the bottle, okay. I mean, I'm not, it's, it's very reminiscent to the other bottle overall. It's a little bit slimmer. And um, I mean, I don't know what this act, exactly what this is on the front of it. But anyway, I mean, not bad, the presentation, but not anything to write home about either. And again, guys, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record on this video. The fragrance smells good. But to me, it is kind of reminiscent of, again, some of the previous releases from the line. You know, there's a little bit of uh, Gentleman, the original, I mean, the previous release. Um, I can't even remember. Gentleman Privé. There's a little bit of that in here, that kind of same sweetness. And there, this does kind of remind me of some of the other releases like from Azaro, the Most Wanted Parfum, uh, the Most Wanted. This fragrance kind of falls into that similar category. Now this has a lot of vetiver in it, so it's not a, not like a clone of those fragrances, but it does remind me of a lot of the uh, designer fragrances that have been released here over like the past two or three years. A lot of them have been kind of adopting a similar scent profile or way of doing things, you know, and this kind of fits into that category. So again, it smells good, but it does remind me of a lot of other things that have been released over the past couple of years. But again, it doesn't smell bad. So if you have it, you know, if you don't have like Azaro the Most Wanted Parfum and Azaro the Most Wanted and, you know, maybe the previous release, the uh, Gentleman... Givenchy Gentleman Privé, I think that's the name of it, if I'm not mistaken. Like, if you don't have those fragrances, yeah, you know, check this one out. It doesn't smell bad. But again, do I really need it in my collection? Not really. Now, the next one, which is YSLY um, EDP Intense. Again, guys, this smells great. All of the flankers from YSLY line of fragrances smell great. I mean, that's <laughs> not, again, that is not the issue here. Um, but I did a video on this one already. If you did not see it, I'll make sure I link the video where I compared all the fragrances from the YSLY line. Um, and again, to me, this intense version, if you have YSLY uh, Le Parfum, which I think probably is the best of all the flankers, you know, of course, out, outside of the original, but I probably think, I think that's the best of all the flankers, the YSLY Le Parfum. So if you have that and maybe the original, is this one you need? Nah. If you don't have any of those fragrances, or maybe you just have the EDT, yeah, sure, get it. It smells phenomenal. That's not a problem. But again, redundancy is the issue here with a lot of these fragrances, but it does smell great. All right, now next up. All right, guys, so the next fragrance here, and this one really caught my attention. I don't think this is a flanker, honestly. Now, it's from CH Carolina Herrera. So it's from the CH Man lineage of fragrances, but I don't think this is a flanker of any of the other fragrances. Um, it definitely doesn't smell like any other CH Man fragrance that I've ever put my nose on. Anything from Carolina Herrera. But guys, this fragrance is the first fragrance that I bought out of all of these. So the story about this is, I went to dealers, I said, hey, let me just put my nose on some of these fragrances and see if anything catches my attention. And honestly, this one, as well as this one, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, caught my attention the most. And that's just being 100% honest. These two caught my attention the most, all right? This is the first one that I purchased, all right? This is the first one that I purchased, all right? Now, this is called CH Men Passion, all right? And you're going to get this uh, kind of combination of kind of fresh, slightly powdery nuances in the opening with a beautiful vanilla, bourbon vanilla, uh, kind of dry down. So this one smells absolutely phenomenal. Now... What I love about it the most is it doesn't really smell like anything else that has come out, been coming out here over the past couple, two or three years. Let's just say it that way, okay? Very unique. Again, the, the opening of this doesn't remind me of anything. A very, very unique open opening to this fragrance. And again, so that's what caught my attention when I first smelled it. It was so different. It was unique. And uh, when I put it on my skin, I tested it on a test strip and then put it on my skin. I was like, yep, out of all the ones I smell today, this is the one I want to grab and take home. So I was the most impressed with this one off the initial spray. Now, the only issue I have with this one is the fact that it doesn't seem to give great performance. And 
There has been a few fragrances from Carolina Herrera. Of course, the original CH Men, which a lot of people love. There are some performance issues there. This is kind of similar in that regard because I only got about four and a half, maybe five hours of complete longevity out of it. But that would be the only hit on it. But when you talk about a designer fragrance um, world right now that's very redundant and all these different things, this at least gets high remark for me because it does smell great and it doesn't really smell like anything else that I've been smelling over the last two or three years, honestly. So for that, I give kudos to this and it does smell great. All right, guys, and last but not least, the like I said, it's a funny story with this one. I went into the store today smelling fragrances. These were the two fragrances that I liked the most, all right? We had this one, the CH Man Passion, and then we had this one from Bulgari, which is um, Bulgari Man Rain Essence. So I was very, was, I was very close to buying this one first um, when I first went into the uh, dealers. I was going to buy this one, uh, but I, I said, let me get this one first, and I'll probably come back tomorrow and get this one. You know, I'm just like that sometimes. I'm like, hey, all right, let me just do one right now. I'll come back and get the other one. Then I came home and luckily went through my emails and remembered that the company had reached out to me and said they were going to send me a bottle of this one. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm glad I didn't buy it. So a few days later, this one came in. And guys, I'm telling you, the funny thing, like I said, is I was going to buy this anyway because I was very, 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 very impressed with this fragrance. Again, just for me, again, it is a flanker. I guess it kind of had that that um, that essence line that had the wood and the rolly um Bulgari wood i think was another one there's a few fragrances that kind of came out uh but this one doesn't smell anything like those and that's a little bit different although it's kind of a flanker of uh, of that line but it doesn't smell like the other one so wood and the rolly smells nothing like this one and so forth and so on whereas like why so why all those fragrances kind of have a similar dna so i do uh like that the fact that it doesn't smell just like another flanker from uh, the Bulgari line. But man, guys, this fragrance right here is absolutely phenomenal. The timing of it is perfect because this time of the year, this is the perfect spring summer fragrance. Main notes to my nose, you're gonna get a clean musk in here. Uh, you're gonna get uh, green tea on the opening. So you get that kind of relaxing vibe. There is a, um, you know what I think it's called? White Lotus, which is a really clean, fresh kind of airy nuance to the fragrance as well. Uh, some guide wood on the dry down. Again, this is just the perfect spring summer fragrance. It smells phenomenal. I put my stamp of, stamp of approval on this one, guys. As far as the scent DNA, this thing right here is great. And again, it's perfect because of the time of year and the season that we're in. It's going to be a great fragrance to have for this spring and summer. So of all these fragrances, again, <clears throat> all of them smell good. But in all sincerity, these were the two fragrances out of all of those that caught my attention first. And when I went into the store, these were the two fragrances that I had my eye on. Regari Man, Rain Essence, and also CH Man Passion from Carolina Herrera. So, at the end of the day, what I'm saying, guys, is this. If you bought any of these fragrances, would I blame anybody? No, because they smell great. Um, again, and I've said this so many times, it's just the redundancy of some of the other flankers uh, where I've kind of taken an issue, not because they don't smell good, but just it's like, okay, I just want something different. You know what I mean? I want something that um, is going to kind of inspire me, something that doesn't smell like something, just like something I already have. And, you know, so that's kind of been my issue. So, again, <clears throat> I've given you my rationale. All of them smell good. It's not like you're going to buy a fragrance and you're going to smell it for the most part and be uh, turned off by the way it smells. They smell good. But if you have some of the other flankers, especially with the first three that I talked about then, you know, it's kind of like you really don't need the new flanker that kind of smells like the previous one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But anyway, guys, what are some other fragrances that have come out this year that you put your nose on that you really, really like? Some new designer fragrance releases that you really, really like. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there. Just think, because you use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.
Peace.